What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 20 video. Yesterday, or late last night should I say, we released a video about the Syria League SBC uh, and how good it was. And, and the fact that EA have been releasing a lot of League SBCs recently, I, I guess they just decided time to catch up or what, I don't know, I don't know what changed for them. We went through all of the League SBCs and today they gave us the Saudi League SBC. And I was initially like, eh, whatever. And let's take a look at the uh, the packs as well that you get back. It wouldn't surprise me if you if we only got silver packs again for this one. Jumbo premium silver pack, small prime mixed players pack, premium silver, small rare silver, small prime, small electrum. So it's all smalls and silvers. Very few gold players on, uh, on offer. A um, few primes which are mixed as well. A few rares that are mixed. So, you know, mo like I'd say there's probably going to be about 10 gold players coming out of this. Another small prime and another small rare mixed. And there's only 16 teams. So you're not going to be able to like constantly turn a profit like you did last year. And and I, I spoke about how I actually don't think that's a negative thing because what's that going to, what that's going to do is it's going to keep the silver market relatively low, which is going to allow us to complete the small tier SBCs consistently whilst grinding profits and, and grinding silvers towards the major league SBCs where they're mostly gold with a few silvers. And so I think it's going to be a big help. And I talked about how I actually liked the cards. Um, you know, these two cards on the Syria, very good. And, and what's interesting here is I believe the Saudi League has the highest rated uh, card. We're 84s everywhere so far, an 83 in the French League, two more 84s in the CSL, and an 83 and an 84 there. And what they've done with the Saudi League, I think, is brilliant. The two players they've given is Nia Karte there, 97 pace, Good shooting, dribbling, and good physical. And then Aguirre Garay, he looks fantastic. Won't be easy to link, but with the amount of icons that everyone's got, you know, from Icon SBC or from Icon Swaps or, or whatever it may be, um, this is this is all right. And we're going to go and have a look. I'm not going to be able to complete the, the League SBC. We've got another SBC to do uh, today as well, but I want to go and have a look at the, um, at the two players' in-game stats because I think that is typically more important um than than anything else uh so saudi league is one down the back end here uh, oh they've changed the name of it haven't they so it's moved in in terms of position now hasn't it there you go m mbs pro league uh let's pop the concept players on so i don't think there's much else out of here so we've got the giovinco which is very good so if you did that giovinco sbc the scream giovinco you can now soft link him to aguir garay uh, Al Sommer there as well. Carlos Eduardo's got pretty decent inform. There's there's some players that are linkable uh, here, which is quite nice. And then Nia Karte. Now, depending on this guy's skill moves and weak foot and his in-game stats, as I said, so he's four-star, three-star. That's not bad. I, I much prefer for the attackers four-star, weak foot, three-star skill moves because this year you could do a chop and the uh, lateral heel to heel flick with three-star skill moves, which is okay. You can't do stop and turns or lack raquettas, but I don't think they're like that meta this year. Uh, you can still do roulettes and ball rolls and heel-to-heel -heel flicks, general heel-to-heel -heel flicks. What I don't like about this card, just looking at it straight away, is the fact that these medium-medium work rates. I struggle personally with medium-medium work rates up front. I prefer the uh, high-medium or, or you know, high-low is much more preferable. But at 5'10", pretty good. French, easy to link. And let's have a look at these uh, these stats. So his pace is genuinely fantastic. You don't, it's, it's not one of those pace points where it's like 99 acceleration and 90 sprint speed and they're like, oh, 97 pace. No, we've got 97 acceleration, 97 sprint speed. You don't need to change that, especially due to the fact that he also has 99 agility. He will feel rapid for a man that's five foot 10. That's quite incredible. Um, he's got 99 jumping, good stamina and good strength as well. Uh, his agility and balance are top tier. His composure is very good as well. I want to compare him to to his base card so near Kate there compared to his base card it's a 70 wow they've given him four pace 11 shooting 19 passing uh 18 dribbling two defending only uh no sorry five defending beg your pardon and 14 physical um and they've given him good boosts in stamina and strength and a good they've given him a plus 18 in composure that's really nice up to 86. I think this card with a sniper, yeah, he becomes a solid card. Uh, let me show you guys um, what I'm looking at here. So with with the sniper, you've got 97 acceleration and sprint speed, 99 finishing, 85 positioning, which is a bit of an issue and might warrant the finisher chem style instead because 
the dribbling's all right already. His his reactions are okay at 80, not great. Um, his dribbling's quite nice as well. His composure's already quite nice. The, the problem that we have is you want to boost that positioning up to at least 90. Um, Marksman's not really the one. Maestro, not really the one either. Um, Hawk, probably not the one either. Like, it does boost it by 10, but you don't really need the waste on pace, which is why a finisher... Wow, that only boosted by five as well. Finisher's not even that great. Okay, that's interesting. So Sniper might be the one. 89 shot power is good. 99 finishing obviously is great. Pace is great. Stamina's good. 99 agility, 90 balance, 90 dribbling, and 91 composure. His ball control is not the greatest, but his reactions are good. And for a striker, his short passing and vision are also quite good. His long passing and curve aren't great. Does he have any traits? I, I can't imagine so as a silver card. He has speed dribble, that's CPU only. So yeah, three star, four star. I, I like this card because I don't think that this league is going to be crazy expensive. When we look at some of the leagues already, what's the, the first thing to note is that for some reason on Xbox, they're wildly cheaper than on PlayStation in the most part, unless they've leveled out now. Oh, well, they have. Look at that. PlayStation is 140k um, and then 180. But Bundesliga's okay at 300k. It gives back really good packs, but that's one you grind towards. CSL, 100k to 120k, bargain. French League, I don't think it's worth it at 200k. I would steer clear of that. Major League Soccer, 140. Liga Nos, brand new. So to, the fact it's 200 is okay. That will come down as people stop, you know, panic buying to all these players to get it done desperately. And the Serie up at 300k is actually okay because Dalbert and Tonali are both fantastic players and the packs back are decent in the Serie A. Not great, not as good as last year, but they're pretty decent. So it's it's cheap enough. The, the These low league SBCs are cheap enough, in my opinion. And then, yeah, we have the, uh, the second card... Um, let's get back on here. The second card, the right back. It is great to see more defenders and defensive midfielders getting into league SBCs. Got a couple of left backs, a right back, a whole bunch of CDMs. This card is genuinely fantastic. My God. Three star, three star, high, medium, 510. I'm not even kidding. That might well be one of the best fullbacks that we've got in the game right now. All you have to do is get links to him. I mean, he has got his aggression and strength is great. 95 stamina. His defending is that is well rounded. Defensive awareness is a little bit low. His dribbling is great for a fullback up there with the best fullbacks in the game. His crossing and short passing is already high level. His shooting is really good and his positioning is really good as well for a fullback. Um, and then he's got 92 sprint speed and 87 acceleration. So an anchor on him, I think, might make him absolutely crazy. Let's have a look. Um, where are we? Let's move over to here and go and get... He's, he's got a bit, of a bit of a name to say though, hasn't he? Aguirre Garay. I want to have a look at his upgrade on his other card as well. Jesus Christ, 14 pace, 15 shooting, 12 passing, 13 dribbling, 15 defending and 12 physical. That is a monster upgrade. And I, again, i got to give the credit to EA for this because this is much, much better than getting like a Gomis or something, right? Give these silver cards that never see the light of day monster boosts, make them usable, put them in the game. I'm all for that. Um, as far as this guy goes with a right back, that is unreal. That is genuinely, I like... Somebody tell me what's, what I'm not seeing here that's wrong. Uh, somebody in the comment section is going to be, oh yeah, you might say he's good, but actually nah i need to i need you guys to let me know what i'm missing here that that doesn't make this guy a, a right back that you should be forcing into your team even on eight chemistry he'd actually be relatively good just one just soft linking him once with an icon you wouldn't really want a shadow it's a bit stupid to waste that pace i suppose actually 15 10 switch on on plus eight on plus 10 you get the 12 7 but on plus eight chemistry with a shadow he gets a great acceleration obviously 98 99 Really well-rounded defending again. And then the rest of his cards well-rounded enough. He's 90 rated on 8 chem on a shadow. 91 rated on 10 chem on a shadow. Depending on what you've got in your team, like I say, it be, might be relatively difficult to get him onto 10 chem. For me personally, I'd easily be able to get him onto 8 chem. I wouldn't easily be able to get him onto 10 chem. Um, if, if, because his pace is already quite good, up at 92 sprint speed and good acceleration, Sentinel, that's very good. His physicals and defending. I mean, look at that. For a card that's from a league SBC, I'm blown away. I really do think that that's a, a, a strong, strong contender. Where's the backbone? 
That is that is massive. That is backbone boost is passing up so good. I think the defending is important to have at least in in the, as, as as big as possible, and for that reason, I would probably say you got to go and give the anchor, but the guardian as well. Jesus makes him a ninety-two rated right back because his physicals are actually already good. His pace is good enough as well. I still sit there and I look at anchor and I think, Do you know what? That's got to be the one. Get that pace in. Get that defending in. If you want to spend a shadow on him, if you have one untradeable. I wouldn't go against it. I think a shadow on 8 chem, if you can get him on 8 chem, bang in. Other than, if you can get him on 10 chem, though, I think an anchor is uh, more than suitable. And uh, yeah, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, because I, I, I genuinely can't see what's wrong with this card. I can't see, like, I, I can't believe that they're giving that card away just from the Saudi League SBC. It doesn't make any sense. This card is good. It's usable for sure. Um, but it's it's one of a card that we've got already a hundred of in FIFA. This right back, however, I think is one of maybe the top five right backs in the game. You compare him to Pizcek SBC, more pace, more dribbling, more physical, one sorry, two less defending, three less passing, and then a bit less shooting, but shooting is relevant. Like he is top, top tier. He really is. So I don't know. I, I like that. I like that a lot. And then we've also got another SBC in today. It's like a daily SBC. Weird for me that they're putting in daily SBCs not during the promo last week. And last week during the promo, we didn't really have anything. But yeah, we've got a daily SBC coming in here. League three, clubs four, um, Champions League rare players minimum one, 78 rated. So league three, clubs four. So we only need a 78 rated squad. Uh, we can just go to the Premier League and just go for the low to high golds and just throw in um let, let me let me have a look at untradeables as well actually because i have got so many untradeable like rares like like there you go like hennessy and i've probably got oh uh, yeah I, I'm, I'm happy to just dump all of these in i'll use the last two positions for the leagues uh, i don't want to use an untradeable walcott uh untradeable seb Balos can go in and we need a rare one of these so hammers milner can go in there no problem at all uh left mids we don't have any right wings uh, St. Maximin can go in there. He's not worth anything anymore. Striker. We didn't need too much chemistry either. Striker will pop in Jimenez. And at left wing, we have got Almiron. So that's all untradeable for me. We just need uh, three leagues. So we're now just going to... I think I can get away a bronze now as well, to be fair. Um, not him, though. I still need to do my uh, icon swaps on this account. I'm going to be taking uh drug bro i think um there you go chemistry's done rating should be done here as well is that going to be three leagues nope we've got the same league there so we need not english three uh let me go for uh one of the chinese guys there we go that should actually just work as well it shouldn't be a problem with chemistry there you go absolutely perfect a prime gold players pack for that as well guys which is brilliant for how cheap that sbc is EA, I feel like they spent, like, they, they do this a lot, and I feel like they have, they have, like, a really Jekyll and Hyde personality, but they have, like, these these times where promo was sick, like, the screen promo was insane, and then the road to the final promo was just dead, and now, all of a sudden, we're getting good daily SBCs, good league SBCs, lots of league SBCs, we're getting, like, Champions League content, like, it, there's just, like, David Villa flashback or End of Era SBC, I think there's just a lot of good content coming out right now, and it just means that the next promo is going to be dead again because there's too much good stuff right now. So for a really cheap squad, guys, we're going to get a board or a walkout out of this as well. It is going to be a walkout from my Prime Gold Players Pack 2. It's German. Come on, be a cam. Left wing. Sané. Oh, that's amazing. That's actually really, really good. He was worth like 200k a few weeks ago, so he's probably worth about 15,000 coins right now. Um, no, he's 113,000 coins still right now. That is fantastic. You cannot complain about that. That is an absolutely monster pull for, for this stage of the game. Um, and I'm going to list him up right now as well and get my coins for him before he crashes in what is likely to be the Great Friday, the Great Black Friday market crash. And then a whole bunch of other players coming in there as well. So really, really nice, guys. Good content for today from the 6 p.m. set. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.